4K playback on uh, systems shouldn't be a big deal in 2017, stating that uh, there are still few devices or most of the uh, phones and uh, PCs just have 1080p monitor, but it still looks fine to have a uh, 4K resolution video playing on it for uh, some extra pixels and for extra uh, vivid and bright colors to be seen on screen. So as far as the system goes, you need some uh, decent amount of specs to run an uh, 4K video cleanly, so like without any lag or so. Like uh, still, uh, my my PC rocks an Intel i5 6th generation, uh, clock rate to 2.8 gigahertz, and uh, coupled with 8 gigs of RAM, and it should actually work fine with any 8K video to play. But if you actually see. Uh, Playing 8K video isn't uh, actually the kind of smooth uh, with the VLC player, uh, which I usually try it on. Uh, it just takes up time to load up and the indexing just goes off. So I'm just in midway and the video is just in the intro, so you can actually see there's no proper indentation kind of thing. So the thing isn't actually able to manage a 4K video. Or other example, this one is actually uh, the video is actually playing, and in this in this case, uh, the video isn't actually playing. There's so many frame drops, and the video isn't actually playing. So, even though you have a good spec configuration, you need some special sets of uh, codecs or set um, best video player in simple terms to actually play these uh, video files or. Uh, yeah, video files. So, uh, so there are few softwares which actually uh, help in playing 4K video. So one such thing is KM Player, and yeah, it loads up 4K video. And I've tried using this, and it does uh, support most of the 4K video. Uh, as actually speaking, it has codecs for the specific video, so it is actually able to manage it without any lags so if you actually see you should actually play it without any lags so the timeline is playing properly without any lag so just took up a second to load up and uh, yeah it's not compromising on any quality issues uh, it's not compromising on any quality side it plays in playing uh, 4K, so you just don't get uh, any loss of pixels or something like that. This plays in real 4K, and yeah, just get uh, the clean uh, video on this player. But uh, with my experience, I did feel that this app did, uh, this application did uh, have some issues with uh, loading the audio files, synchronizing the uh, audio files with the video. So it just had some problems. So there's another. Uh, uh, application as the 3 to 1 media player uh, that did actually play the files very smoothly and I did feel that uh, audio, audio setup was also fine with the video uh, playback so yeah so yeah uh, just played the video files smoothly uh, so if you're just uh, stuck up with your uh, 4k video so I do recommend you to uh, install the 3 to 1 player or the uh, K, uh, KM player to uh, actually check it out and uh, I will leave the links in the description below for us for this applications and apart from this uh, there is an uh, other application that is the let's DIDX player and that just loads up the files uh, the codecs from the internet whichever uh, file it requires so that was also an amazing application and yeah, that even the tools were to try but still that, that's a play, paid app and you need to pay uh, to play to uh, pay to get the app so yeah that's it for this uh, 4k play to how probably how to play 4k videos and so these are my tips for it. So yeah, thanks for watching.